is Abby Harkey. I'm with Howard's Creek Fire Department. This is where I spend most of my time. We put out fires around our community and help as much as we can. Today I'll be reading a book called Chief Rhino to the Rescue by Sam Lloyd. Thank you Macmillan Publishing for allowing us to read this book. Chief Rhino to the Rescue. Meet Fire Chief Rhino. He is one of the bravest animals in whoops -a daisy world. Whenever there's a fire, you can always count on him to save the day. Chief Rhino likes to stay in peak physical condition. You have to be strong to fight fires. Although there hasn't been a big fire in whoops -a daisy world for a long time. But suddenly, Chief Rhino spots something. What the blaze is? Chief Rhino explains. It looks like there's a fire at number one house row. It's time for me to save the day. Chief Rhino dashes into the recreation room. Attention team, stop what you're doing. We're needed, so let's go. Everybody gets dressed, slides down the pole, and hops in the fire engine. And away they go. Wee-oo, wee-oo, roars the sirens as they dash through whoops -a daisy world. This fire is a whopper, Chief Rhino announces. I need all you to be brave. Great balls of fire, exclaims Chief Rhino. This is even more serious than I thought. I'll need the ladder, the hose, and the breathing apparatus. Moose, when I shout now, turn on the water. Yes, Chief, answers Moose. Stand back, instructs Chief Rhino. I'm going in. Three, two, one. Now, Moose, now. Whoosh, the water will put out the fire. Uh-oh, it was only the candles on Great Granny Wrinkle's 100th birthday cake. Flaming flumps of fire, gasps Chief Rhino. How could I have made such a silly mistake? Instead of saving the day, I've ruined it. Now don't you fret, says Great Granny Wrinkle with a smile. We all make mistakes. What's important is that you are trying to help. But I've ruined your cake, Chief Rhino says, sighing. Not at all, Great Granny Wrinkle giggles. Elephants of my age don't have many teeth left, so mushy cake is perfect. Chief Rhino feels better. Let's give Great Granny Wrinkle the most super sizzling party ever, he says. And they did, even with the soggy cake. She even wrote him a little letter after that. It says, to my dear Chief Rhino, I just wanted to say a big thank you for my wonderful birthday party. I haven't had so much fun in a hundred years. Here's a little something I needed for you to show my appreciation. I hope it keeps you warm on those cold winter nights at the fire station. All my love, Great Granny Wrinkle. The end. Thank you so much for letting me read to you today. Stay tuned for more. All right, everyone, are you ready for our next book? We're going to read Fire Engine Man by Andrea Zimmerman and David Klemsha. Thanks so much, Macmillan, for letting us read this book today. Let's get started. I love fire engines. I like to squirt down fires. I'm going to be a fire engine man. I will wear a special coat and boots and hat to protect me. I will drive my own big fire engine. It will have a loud siren and flashing lights. My brother can see me pass by. I will hook up my hose. I will help the other firefighters fight the fire. When the fire is out, I will drive back to the station. At the fire station, I will have more work to do. My brother could visit me there because it would be safe. He could sit in the fire engine. 
I could make a snack for us in the fire station kitchen. He could see my bunk and maybe even take a nap. But if the alarm rang, I would have to go. I will always be ready. I will drive my fire engine. I will squirt down all the fires when I am a fire engine man. When my brother gets bigger, he can help. He can be a fire engine man too. The end. Thank you so much to Miss Abby and Howard's Creek Volunteer Fire Department for letting us read today. I'll see you guys really soon.